Hi, it's Eric Edmund again. I get very depressed sometimes about the lack of patriotism in our country. Our Prime Minister Cameron is involved in a very difficult set of negotiations. Now, whether you like David Cameron or dislike him or dislike his proposals or like them, is really neither here nor there. He's in there and he's doing his best as he sees it for this country. But of course there are many business leaders in this country who are making it very difficult for him to negotiate. You have to leave the man a negotiating position. He has to convince people that if they do not give him what he wants for our country, then there is always a serious threat that they will lose something that's important to their country. And in this case, it is quite clearly going to be the trade and the massive imports that take place from the EU into the UK. It is not for nothing that the UK is known as Treasure Island in Euroland. They make huge profits. They have far higher margins on BMWs and Mercedes and things like that here in our country than they can get away with in the EU. It is nonsense to say that actually they will throw that away for nothing out of peak when we, if we do vote to leave uh, the EU. It's the same with our great business leaders, Branson, Pickle, and uh, the man who runs WPP going on and saying, oh, we cannot leave the EU. It would be unthinkable. Well, where does that leave Cameron in a negotiating position? It leaves him wide open to get shafted by the Euro people. It's worse, actually, if you even look at what the uh, Europhile politicians are saying. Here we have I don't know if this will show on our thing, but here we have a nice picture of our local MEP, one Graham Watson. Cameron is doing his best to sort out the Algerian situation and get British hostages back alive. And what does this Watson do? He puts a sick message on Twitter saying, Al-Qaeda won... David Cameron, no. The man should be, he's been called on to resign. Clegg actually should demand his resignation. He won't, purely for party political reasons, but Watson is a man who opposes the honour system, but who, when he's offered a knighthood, is very quick to accept it. He is despicable, and that was a despicable message to post but he's all too typical of the people who seek to do down our country. I don't know what's the problem with these people. It's been going on since the days of Edward Heath, when it was quite clear that the motivation was that we couldn't run our own country. We couldn't cope with strikes. We couldn't cope with British Leyland. We couldn't cope with anything. We had to have Johnny Foreigner, the EU, common markets was in to tell us how to run our own country. We still have this. With Obama pitching in now, his administration has twice said that we cannot leave the EU because it's in American interest we stay in the EU. Well, actually, it's not the job of our Prime Minister to represent American interests. That's Obama's job. Our Prime Minister should be representing uh, the interests of the UK. But he's not the only one. We've had it from the Norwegian foreign minister. We get it internally from Germans and French saying it is impossible. We must stay in the EU. And if you compare that with the response of the Algerians who have said, OK, we'll handle this hostage situation our way and our country. It's our country. We do it our way. And that was a very good thing and I wish to hell our Prime Minister would stand up and say the same thing. The United States may be the most military powerful nation on 
God's earth, but in terms of knowledge of the EU or knowledge of Islam, it's down there, right down at the bottom, zero. So that's why I feel that the call in the uh, today's in yet this week's Telegraph by Alistair Keith, who uh, used to write the City Business Line, saying that what we need is a cross-party Eurosceptic campaign that needs to be launched. And he is quite right. He says what we need is a group of business people who we had, and he quotes the, the No to the Euro campaign in the 2000s, the No to the uh, AV campaign, and if you want to go to get a little bit further back to Jimmy Goldsmith's referendum campaign, when we had um, groups of business people who came out and opposed what the EU wanted. Now, this is what we need again. But we're not getting it. We're not going to get it from Mr. Uh, Cameron, certainly. But it's time that people in UKIP or other political parties started to organise something. Otherwise, as Alistair he says, what we've got is a situation just like in the life of Brian. You know, the people's Judea, Judea in front fighting against the, the Judea People's Freedom Party. It's nonsense. We need to have our business people who, by and large, 90% of them do not like the EU, they don't like the regulations, but who's going to organise them and speak for them? Thank you.